Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul and this video we're breaking down the ending of Pieces of a Woman on Netflix. Starring Vanessa Kirby, the movie leaves a lot of questions up in the air over its last scene and throughout this video we're going to be giving an in-depth analysis on the movie so that you can hopefully understand it better. Obviously there will be heavy spoilers here so if you haven't had a chance to check out the film yet then I highly recommend that you check out now. If you enjoy the video then please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel for breakdowns like this each and every day. Without the way, thank you for clicking this, now let's get into pieces of a woman. Okay so the movie primarily follows Martha and Sean, a couple that face an incredible tragedy after their home birth ends with the loss of their child. The film is full of grief and we watch as Martha becomes distant from not only her family but also her partner. It's super super depressing. But the film itself actually ends on a hopeful note when we see what is likely Martha's child climbing an apple tree before she grabs one of the fruits itself and bites into it. Martha comes and collects her and we bring focus to the tree before credits start to roll. But what exactly is going on? Well I can understand why you're confused but this moment actually carries a lot of symbolism with it and on a second watch things become a lot clearer. Apples themselves carry a wealth of meaning in the movie and the fruit has been laced throughout religion and the arts for millennia. They are often used as symbols of knowledge and often when they're eaten the person doing so can be seen as gaining a new perspective on things that change the perception of what's come before. This is very much the case here and throughout the film apples are a symbol of Martha's pain, grief and eventual acceptance of the way things are. I feel like we need to give some context to the events though before diving into the hidden meaning and thus I'll just be doing a quick plot rundown before we go further in depth. Now the movie pretty much opens with Martha and Sean insisting on having a home birth and the original midwife that was supposed to accompany them is unfortunately at another birth. Thus a replacement named Eva was sent out and though things initially seemed to go well we quickly saw that the child could not breathe. Eva tried to resuscitate it to no avail and after an ambulance arrived we got a massive time jump that saw the midwife being put on trial for the child's death. It's an agonising reveal, especially after the massive build up that there is at the start of the film which features a half hour scene in which we see Martha going through all the stages of birth. We learn that Martha and Sean's relationship is in tatters and it's clear that things aren't what they used to be. Martha's relationship with her family is also at breaking point too and it's clear that she's angry and almost lost over the whole ordeal. At the testimony she blames Eva but after taking a step back and looking over the photos of her child for the first time she returns to court to admit that the midwife wasn't to blame. It's a major moment for the character and it feels like a weight has been lifted off everyone's shoulders after they realise that she's accepted the truth. She comes to terms with the loss and spreads the child's ashes which contradicts the idea that she was going to donate the body to the university. This is when we get the next scene in which we see the child Luciana climbing the apple tree before being called in by Martha. Now there are different ways that you can really take this and either the child is real and she managed to have another one or it's simply a metaphor of Yvette's memory. Personally I tend to settle on the former and I think the hidden meaning which we'll explore in just a bit adds a lot of evidence towards this. Taking things at face value though, we know that the child is called Luciana and it seems strange that this name would be clearly said if it was simply a version of Yvette. Thus we can gather that Martha tried again and had another child, showing that we must not give up even when things look like they're at their darkest. At one point in the film a character discusses how time heals all wounds and this is of course something that many of us will experience firsthand. Martha clearly came to terms with this before the end of the film and therefore I do take it that she was able to move on from the experience and try once more. Second chances are always available and I'm not just talking in terms of giving birth but there are other options such as fostering and adoption which also could have happened. I know that a lot of people likely believe that Sean is still in the picture but the fact that he's not does hint to me that he did indeed leave. He was offered money by the family to go and seemed to accept that Seattle was where his future lay. The last time we saw him he was being dropped off at the airport and therefore I take the ending as meaning that Martha is likely with someone new who has given her the space she needed which Sean could not. He leaves his beanie behind for something to remember him by and therefore I think that Martha is either with somebody else or that she's raising the child on her own after adopting it. 
Now the deeper meaning which builds upon this idea is that the apples exist as a symbol of Martha's mind state and this is showcased throughout the movie. During the trial, Martha states that her baby smelt like an apple and therefore we can put some importance in their meaning. After the death of a vet, we get a time jump which sees Martha putting on a brave face for the world. Shortly after she comes across a young girl and seems to be happy but this illusion is quickly broken by the memory of her child which is brought on by her own body. The character continues to a fruit shop and we can see her browsing the apples there. Martha takes her time, looks over them for quite a while and picks out the perfect one before she comes face to face with a friend of her mother's. We later learn that Martha suspected that something else was going on in this conversation and that she tried to appear happy. Thus, her spending time picking out an apple that appears perfect represents how she very much cares about her image and the way that things look. Martha is clearly struggling and going through a lot of trauma but she knows that it will cause issues if she doesn't appear to be fine and thus her spending the time to make sure that everything around her looks undamaged is very significant. Later she eats an apple that's already started to rot and this very much represents how I view her relationship with Sean. It started to decay and fester and though she's still trying to keep it with her through the act of consumption, it's not as sweet as it used to be and potentially not even worth going through. Now on a more positive note, we catch her spitting out apple seeds and seeds themselves come to represent a number of things. Seeds carry the idea of rebirth and in order to get to one, you have to basically consume an apple, take away everything from it until all that remains is this single thing in which new life can grow. Seeds are very much symbolic of her planting something new and along with this taking a new path. So this collecting of the seeds represents how she's starting to put things in place mentally in order to grow. Though this doesn't happen initially, after finally seeing the photographs of a vet and accepting that Eva wasn't responsible, they finally start to sprout. This of course shows that she's now willing to move on and we also catch her spreading the ashes, meaning that she's finally let go. Cut to Luciana climbing this enormous apple tree and personally I believe that this is what sprouted from the seeds that Martha was collecting. Due to the size of it we know that several years have likely passed and thus this explains why a child of this age is able to appear in this scene. The tree stands as a way to remember Yvette and it is a monument that Luciana can now climb and eat the fruit of. It shows that even when things seem like they are at their darkest, it is possible to break it all down, come to grips with it and from there grow which definitely feels like the journey that Martha went on throughout the film. So overall I think that Martha has managed to move on and accept what happened to Yvette and this has allowed her to have a new child though her first one will never be forgotten. Now before we get into the review part of the video I just want to let you know we're giving away 3 copies of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings 4K box set to our subscribers. All you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the film in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th of January and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. Now as for my thoughts, I'd say I enjoyed the film as a whole in the aftermath of it, even though I didn't enjoy it at the time. Now what do I mean by that? Well, Pieces of a Woman is very depressing and it feels almost unbearable at points as we go through it. There's very little positivity in this movie, but I think that's what we needed to sink to these depths so that the ending was so uplifting. The performances are incredible here, and you can see why Vanessa Kirby is already winning awards because of her betrayal. I do feel a bit wrong scoring in this, uh, as it's a bit of a sensitive matter, and I think people who've experienced something like this in their own life will find it easy to relate to. Whereas, whereas others won't, so it, it's not something that you can exactly assign a number to. Now, because of that, this movie won't be for everyone, and I think you'll already know whether it's for you or not. It's very harrowing, but I think it works well with the topics and themes that it touches upon, and it handles them in a very profound way. I doubt I'll be going back to it ever again, but I have to say that's probably because it's going to stick with me for some time. I definitely recommend that you watch it and make up your own mind as I know a lot of people will take different things from it and have their own perspective. It's out now on Netflix and I'd of course love to hear your thoughts on it as I'm sure there's a lot to talk about in terms of the deeper meaning and the movie itself. 
Now, obviously, leave them below, and if you enjoy this video, then please drop a thumbs up, and make sure you check out our breakdown of the ending of Cobra Kai Season 3, which will be linked on screen right now. The links to our socials are also in the description, and if you want to support the channel, there's a join button there that, that massively helps us out. Anyway, if, if not, then thank you for sitting through the video. I hope this hasn't ruined your weekend. I've been Paul, you've been the best, and take care of yourself, mate. Peace.